Here we have the M357 TV2 replacement kit for the M357 and M357T. This kit, we also have a kit for the M3 for the early M351A. As you probably know by now, the lithium batteries die on these after about 10 or so years, and when they die, the alarm usually dies with it. And the only recourse of action is to replace the unit. Uh, in the past, what you had to do was remove the whole lot, completely remove it, and rewire a new one in, which would cost a lot of money. But now here at Abacus, we've developed a plug and play kit, which you simply unplug the old alarm, plug in an adapter loom, and plug the other end of the adapter loom into the new M357 TV2. And voila, off you go. You have another 10 or so years, or hopefully more. Right in the box is a brand spanking new M357 T alarm system, three year warranty from us at Elicus Car Alarms with the all important code card the uh, M252 FOB and the M2500 large FOB which is really good because if you've got gloves on it's nice and easy to operate this FOB, the 252 is really good, you put your key into into it so you have a key and a FOB all this one which is something like this which I'll show you, uh, I'll, I'll show you a bit more detail later on. Included in the kit also, or most importantly, is the M357 adapter loom. This plug goes into the plug that comes out of the old alarm, plugs in there. This end, it's fairly self-explanatory really, goes into the TV too, so that plugs in. So, this rubber cover stretches over to give a waterproof seal. This plug goes into the 18 weight plug that came out of the old M357T. More of that later in this video, you'll see the replacement on the Harley Davidson. In the kit is a roll of tape, which I recommend you tape up the joint here to keep out more, make it more secure keep out any water and other foreign matter I'll get in there. Replacement cover with anti-theft screws which will explain how to take those off later in the video and a replacement fuse, some spacers and some screw bits for the fitting kit of the cover fob and a replacement LED. Quite often these LEDs fail, the wires corrode and they break off so we supply you a new uh, some cable ties, stickers, user instructions, and some fitting instructions also in the box. Right, the Harley M357 doesn't work on Harley anymore, press the button, absolutely nothing. So, what I'm going to have to do is get up the alarm, which on this luck it's quite easy, move the cover. As you can see, it's hidden here. Let's not do these bolts to get at it. In your case, if it's a modern sports bike, it could be hidden behind a fairing, side panel, etc. You might have to remove the panels to get at the alarm. Pending item M357. It's about 10 years old now. High quality alarm. I mean, they last for ages. They're excellent. Much better than most other alarms, including data tool. Um, the internal battery's probably died on it. And then when the internal battery dies, the alarm usually goes with it. And anyway, it's replacement. Now, normally in the old days, we used to have to remove this, remove all the wiring, uh, cut it all out rewire on your alarm system and cost a fortune but now we've got a, a bypass kit I'm not going to show you how to remove this plug on this video it's very easy when you know how but um, for obvious for security reasons um, when you buy the kit we'll send you a link and a password of how to 
remove the cover. That's screw. Right, now you've got the M357s off. Remove, peel back the rubber cover. Squeeze down on the plug. Comes off. That's the old M357. By the way, the fitting is the same for the 351A. This unit, that's the connector there. That's the plug connector there. Look. Now plug this into the socket of the adapter loom. You see it's a 18 way socket. Simply push that home. So it's fully in. Now the other ends. Other end goes into the brand new M357 TV2, the latest model. Three year warranty from us. Uh, a new style Forbes. You'll get at least another 10 years out of this one. So you now just insert the two plugs in there as such. It's best I find if you pull this rubber bunk back a bit. Push that fully home. Most importantly, make sure that clicks in. That must literally white plug clips fully home. Put the cover on. And that's it. Job done. Took what? Five minutes? Ten maybe? Now to test it, turn the ignition on, off. That will wake up the alarm from sleep mode. Test all the functions of the alarm, make sure the bike starts. When you're happy with that, put it back the way it was. And so we'll just go back in here, we'll put a few straps in. Don't forget to put the covers back on. Here. Like that. Also, I strongly recommend cutting this rubber bung away here. And wrapping the, the supplied insulating tape around that joint. Right, the uh, every time TV2's nicely fitted, and strapped in there, so it's nicely held in. Now go to turn the ignition on. If you notice, this light comes on. That's just the battery charge light. Now this this top light comes on and stays on. Now, press the fob, you hear a beep, that light goes out, and we should be able to start the bike. Let's have a listen. Fantastic. That's it. Now, we have to do just test all the alarm functions, make sure you're happy with everything. And you are, put it all back together, that's that.